According to the website VUN TV of Belarus, armed forces of Belarus will receive a first batch of upgraded version of the Soviet-made BRDM-2 called Cayman. A first prototype of the vehicle will be delivered to the Belarus armed forces for trials. The Cayman 4x4 armored vehicle is based on the Soviet-made BRDM-2 4x4 reconnaissance vehicle designed in Belarus by engineers of the 140 repair plant. The vehicle was unveiled in 2015 and a first public demonstration was performed during a military parade in July 2016. The Cayman consists of a new design completely different compared to the old BLM-2 and that is very close to the design of the German-made Fennec 4x4 reconnaissance vehicle in service with the German and the Dutch army. Today, with the arrival of 70 German soldiers, the next step to build up enhanced forward presence Battle Group Lithuania is done. And I am quite confident that we will finish our German deployment within February, so that we'll have end of February all German personnel as well as our equipment and other material and our vehicles here in Lithuania. On February 1st, a first contingent of 70 soldiers of the German army arrived at Kondas Airport in Lithuania by two 610 military aircraft. They were welcomed at the airport by commander of the German contingent and the NATO Enhanced Forward Presence Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Christoph Uber. The German contingent that will depart in Lithuania in several stages is mainly formed by troops with the 122 Mechanized Infantry Battalion 12th Mechanized Infantry Brigade of the German Armed Forces. On February 1st, two 10 Mechanized Infantry Battalion soldiers with equipment will be arriving in Lithuania from Grafenrode, Germany, by air and railway. Over 450 German soldiers with their weaponry and over 100 military vehicles will form one of the maneuver units of the NATO Enhanced Forward Presence Battalion deployed in Lithuania alongside with Dutch and Norwegian military personnel. <laughs> Turkey has launched a new request to upgrade German Leopard 2A4 and American main battle tanks M60A3 in service with the Turkish Armed Forces. The contract could reach an amount of $500 million according to the Defense News website. The main battle tank upgrade program will be administered by Turkish Procurement Agency, the Under Secretary for Defense Industry, SSM. This modernization project is launched to upgrade 40 M60 A3, 40 Leopard 2 A4, and 120 M60 AT tanks. According to the military balance 2015, the Turkish army has a total of 325 Leopard 2 A4 and 658 M60 A3. Between 2007 and 2009, 170 Turkish M60 A3 main battle tanks were upgraded with the Sabra MK2 package developed by Israeli military industry. Recently, during the conflict with Syria, some Turkish main battle tanks Leopard 2 A4 and M60T were destroyed by fighters of the terrorist group of Islamic State. According to the Turkish daily Sabah newspaper website, Turkey has continued its negotiation with Russia regarding the purchase of the Russian S-400 surface to air defense missile system, sources in the Turkish government have confirmed. Since many years, Turkey is looking to spend between 3 to 4 billion dollars for a new air defense missile system as a part of its Taylor Amits program. The S-400 Triumph SA-21 is a long-run surface to air missile system produced by the Russian company Almaz Antai. The S-400 Triumph is intended to engage a wide range of aerial threats, including tactical aircraft, medium-range ballistic missiles, and other current and future air attack assets at a maximum range of 400 km and an altitude of up to 30 km. M2 
777A2 is an improved version of the standard M777 lightweight 155mm towed howitzer, also called in US Army as LW155, designed and manufactured by the company Bear System. The M777A2 is a towed 155mm howitzer, jointly developed by the US Army and US Marine Corps to replace the M198 155mm towed howitzer. The M777A2 Howitzer can fire the full range of US 155mm ammunition, including unassisted projectiles to a range of 24km and assisted projectiles to 40km. With the upgraded fire control system, it can also fire Excalibur Precision 155mm projectiles, Global Positioning System guided, Extended Range Artillery Projectiles M982 and M982A1 at a maximum range of 40 km. In the US Army and Marine Corps, the M777A2 is towed by the 7-ton medium tactical vehicle replacement truck. It can be easily transported by air in a number of transport aircraft, including the C-131, the C-141, the C-5 and the C-160 Transal. Six Tu-22M3 supersonic low-range bombers have conducted a group airstrikes against the facilities of the Islamic State terrorist group in Darur al-Zawur province, Syria, according to the Russian Ministry of Defense. Tu-22M3 long-range bombers have been participating in the operation against terrorists in Syria since November 2015. Israel Aerospace Industry is unveiling ADA, an advanced system that protects avionics system from GPS jamming. ADA has already been integrated into several systems and platforms operating both in Israel and abroad. The ADA system recently won a tender from Israel Ministry of Defense for integration into one of the main platforms of the Israel Air Force. The ADA system was successfully evaluated recently in the US at the NAVVEST event where foreign military forces contest anti-jamming system against various electronic warfare challenges. Russia officially presents its MiG-35 fourth generation fighter jet in an official ceremony organized in Moscow. The advanced Mikoyan MiG-35 multi-role fighter has already started its flight trials according to United Aircraft Corporation president. The MiG-35 and its twin seat version, the MiG-35D, are designed for dealing with aerial and static and moving surface threats in any climate and weather. The MiG-35 and MiG-35D feature setting them apart from the rest of the MiG-29 family is the fifth generation information and targeting system integrated with the avionic suite, Russian and foreign made weapon implement capability and enhanced combat stability achieved owing to sophisticated electronic warfare gear. The Republic of Korea Navy announced that four of its newly acquired AW-159 Wildcat maritime helicopters are now operational. The ROC Navy is currently conducting an anti-submarine warfare training south of Gyoji Island. For the drills, one of the Wildcats was attached to the new Incheon class frigate Gwangju, the last unit of the FFX-1 series. According to the ROC Navy, 
the deployment of the Wildcat in operation is expected to further enhance its ability to counter North Korean submarine threats, thereby enhancing its three-dimensional operational capability. The pictures released by the ROC Navy show one, one Wildcat helicopter taking off from Guangzhou, stopping at an altitude of 80 feet above the surface of the water to detect underwater submarines. For this, the Wildcat is fitted with a Thales flash dipping sonar. Once a simulated threat was detected, the Wildcat dropped four sonobuoys to determine its exact location. Shortly after, the Wildcat crew received the order to engage. The Wildcat quickly released two Blue Shark training torpedoes. German Navy 1st F-125 frigate was recently testing its main and secondary naval gun systems off the coast of Heligoland, a small German archipelago in the North Sea. The Baden-Württemberg frigate can be seen firing its 127mm Volcano main gun as well as its 27mm remote weapon systems. The 127mm lightweight Volcano gun system is designed by Leonardo from Italy. Its guided long-range ammunition extends the range and of the gun up to 100 km. Designed by Rheinmetall Defense, the MLG-27 is developed for layered shield self-defense. It can engage air and surface targets including high-speed, highly maneuverable watercraft and targets onshore. The first F-125 frigate started sea trials off the coast of Denmark in July last year. A total of four vessels will be built for the German Navy. Although the F-125 class ships are frigates, their displacement is much larger, closer to that of a destroyer as it reaches 7200 tons. They are built to replace the eight Bremen class frigates, which entered service in the 80s and carry out a wide range of missions, both combat and humanitarian. Five E-2D Advanced Okai carrier-capable tactical airborne early warning aircraft assigned to the Tiger Tails of Carrier Airborne Early Warning Squadron 125 arrived at Marine Corps Air Station Iwakuni in Japan. The AW-125 will support the USS Ronald Reagan Carrier Strike Group in the region. It is the first forward operational deployment for the Advanced Okai. Built by Northrop Grumman, the E-2D is the US Navy's latest variant of the E-2 platform and features a number of upgrades over the older E-2C variant. Improvements include an all-new electronic suite, enhanced turboprop engines, modernized communications, and upgrade potential for mid-air refueling capabilities. The US Navy first took delivery of the E-2D in July of 2010 and began a phase replacement of the E-2C aircraft which has served the fleet since 1973. The Advanced Okai's new APY-9 radar merges a traditional mechanically scanned antenna with steerable electronic scanning. The radar qualities are an increased range, enhanced detectability of air targets both over sea and land, surface target tracking out of horizon, reduction of clutter in coastal area, and overland and long-range detection of cruise missiles. 